On the 2nd of October, Ukraine's 28th Mechanized Brigade posted a video on their social media showing an RPG team firing RPG-7s during a firefight. The warheads being fired from the RPG-7 were all outfitted with homemade fragmentation sleeves. A fragmentation sleeve fits over a warhead and breaks apart when the warhead detonates. The explosion spreads the fragments, increasing the warhead's anti-personnel effect. The sleeve seen in the video appears to be made from a sheet of rolled metal with a base ring. Their design and construction appears to be quite uniform, and similar examples of the fragmentation sleeves have been seen on several earlier occasions. The sheet appears to be several millimetres thick, with a grid of cuts creating weaknesses along which the metal can fragment. Back in April, a photograph featuring similar sleeves was shared. One PG-7 warhead has a sleeve running between the Venturi, or rocket nozzles, and the base of the warhead's shape charge, while the other appears to have a sleeve which is wrapped around the lower part of the warhead. The Venturi of this warhead isn't visible. A Ukrainian combatant shared a short video featuring a PG-7 warhead with a fragmentation sleeve on the 4th of May. A month later, on the 21st of June, a Ukrainian news outlet, Novananya, published a video report featuring the 67th Mechanized Brigade in action near Kremenaya. Members of the brigade's 2nd Mechanized Battalion are seen with numerous PG-7s with fragmentation sleeves in the report. One Ukrainian combatant is seen preparing them for launch, attaching boosters. It would appear that the design of the sleeves has been shared between a number of fabricators, as they've appeared in a number of areas and seem to be of a fairly standardised design. Images from the summer of 2023 show the sleeves added to a variety of different PG-7 warheads, including a crate of six PG-7 VLs. In August, a Ukrainian individual made a call on social media for fabricators to produce base rings for the sleeves. The post included a photograph of six PG-7M warheads, all with fragmentation sleeves. The October video posted by the 28th Mechanized Brigade shows the rockets being fired at unseen targets in the distance. The RPG gunner appears to be using the tactic of using the warhead's maximum range self-destruct feature to detonate the warheads above Russian positions. The warheads are fitted with point-initiating base-detonating fuses which contain a pyrotechnic-based self-destruct mechanism. This causes the warhead to detonate at its maximum range of approximately 950 meters. When the warhead detonates at the end of its flight, it will shower what is below with the fragments from both the warhead and the fragmentation sleeve. On the 30th of September, a PG-7 with a fragmentation sleeve was seen at the beginning of a video shared by Omega, the special purpose center of Ukraine's National Guard. The characteristic shape of the sleeved warhead can be seen just before the member of Omega fires the RPG-7. On the 4th of October, a Ukrainian combatant shared a photograph of a PG-7 VL warhead with a fragmentation sleeve. The photo was shared in response to the earlier August photograph on social media. This example, however, appears to be made from a mosaic of small metal squares rather than from a scored metal sheet, although it's difficult to be sure. The fragmentation sleeves are definitely not a new innovation, but they are a simple adaptation that can be made to PG-7 warheads, which are predominantly designed for anti-armor roles. The sleeves are intended to improve the munitions effectiveness against enemy personnel. While there are a number of warheads designed specifically for use against personnel, these may not be as commonly available and as a result the Ukrainians have taken to improvising. Notably, I haven't seen any examples of Russian troops using fragmentation sleeves, although if you have, please do let me know. We've already seen a number of makeshift anti-personnel warheads made from everything from fire extinguishers packed with explosive to the practice of simply taping shrapnel to the sides of a standard PG-7 warhead. We already have a video looking at the fire extinguisher warhead, and in the future we'll have a video looking at the practice of taping shrapnel to the sides of PG-7s. Very special thanks to colleagues at Ukraine Weapons Warfare, AFV Recognition and Weapons Illustrated for their help sourcing imagery and information for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. You can support us through Patreon where you get early access to all of our videos and you can also check out the new History of Weapons and War app where our content along with Forgotten Weapons, Bloke on the Range, Nine Hole Reviews and a host of other creators is collected. There's a link to that in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.